Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018.5 Sport Trek 343 VIK. This is a great couples model travel trailer. If you're looking for something high end, quality, something you can spend a lot of time in, this is one you definitely want to pay attention to. As you see in the main living area here, we have huge dual opposing slides really opening this space up and it's very reminiscent of what you see in a lot of like rear living fifth wheel floor plans. Let's start off in our campsite slide. So right here you have a freestanding table and chairs which is what you would expect in a higher end travel trailer. It looks a lot nicer than a booth. It's easier to get in and out of. You know you can back the chairs up. You see you have plenty of room here and you do have some extra storage underneath the chairs there as well. So if you want to store uh, you know some place uh, settings or something like that in there you can certainly do that. Windows here of course to let in some natural light, LED lights at night. You do have an electrical outlet back here as well. So if you're one of the lucky ones that get to work while you, while you travel around, you can certainly plug in a laptop or tablet right there. Moving over a little further, we get into the entertainment center. Uh, a couple things in 2018.5, uh, they did make some changes here. They did go to a darker wood and beautiful bright uh, countertops or solid surface. We'll see those in just a second. But I really like this entertainment center. It's nice and large. They kind of have like the almost frosted silver glass on here. But take a look up top. You do have some blue auxiliary lighting, which is pretty neat. But look at all that storage up there. You want to talk about a great place to store maybe some extra bedding in case you have guests. You can put board games up there. Just a lot of larger items you're able to fit in here. And because it does have this silver frosted glass on there, whatever you tuck away won't be seen, which again, I like. Right underneath, of course, is your TV. That's going to be the heart of your entertainment center, as it should be. That is straight across from your theater seating. That way you don't have to crane your neck. You do have some cubby holes here on the side, as well as your multimedia center. This unit is a radio CD and DVD player, so if you do want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in there. It's also Bluetooth capable, controls the speakers outside, as well as the ones inside. And then right underneath, on both sides here, you also have additional storage. Right underneath the TV is your 26 inch fireplace there. Uh, the thing I like about a fireplace, and you'll actually notice that this RV has two of them, is the fact it's basically a big space heater. So if you're somewhere where you don't have to pay for electric and you know it starts to dip down where it's a little chilly, this is perfect. You can turn this on, it'll help take the chill off and you don't have to use propane. So definitely some advantages there besides just looking really cool. Right across the back here is your tri-fold sofa. Nice and comfortable to sit on. It's also very comfortable to sleep on. The tri-fold sofa is the preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV. And you can kind of see right here, it actually uses the cushions of the couch itself. You can see how nice and thick that is. That's what your guests will get to sleep on. They won't have a bar in the back like traditional pullout or an air mattress that's going to deflate on them. On both sides, you have some end tables there, which are great. Spot to put a beverage. Again, you have electrical outlets. So if you need to charge cell phones, you can do that. And you have uh, some cubby holes underneath both of those. Windows all the way around here. If you want to open up the side ones for a cross breeze, if you don't want to run the ducted AC, you can do that too. Nice rear picture window here so you can enjoy the view out of the back. LED light there. And again, some additional storage right here up top. We come across the other side, you'll notice right here you have your dual theater seating as I promised. Both of these do recline of course. Uh, you have some cup holders right here in case you have some beverages there. And then a little uh, place to store your remotes right in between. Window above there, more storage here, a couple more LED lights in case you want to do some reading. So not only do we have a large living and entertainment space, but you also have a very large kitchen with a ton of storage. Some of the changes they made in the 2018.5 is with the countertops. They went to the beautiful, true solid surface. You'll see it's nice and bright. Great contrast to the darker wood here. You'll also see it's a very large countertop on the island, so you have space on both sides in which you can work. Sink top covers in case you want to use this as prep space as well. If you need to get into the sink, no problem. You can take those off. You'll see you have a undermount double bowl stainless steel sink. Nice deep bowls on both sides too. You know, a lot of manufacturers will put in a much shallower sink to save some money, but that is a very deep bowl, quite usable sink there. And then you have the high-rise pull-out faucet, which also makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. 
Take a look at the sides real quick. This is pretty neat on both sides. It looks just like a nice finished panel on the side of your uh, kitchen island. But look at that. Both sides actually open up. You have some more hidden storage in there. It's, you know, great for, uh, I'd probably put snack food in there, maybe a bag of chips or uh, some Pop-Tarts, Oreos, things for s'mores, I don't know, canned goods. But I think that's just cool. You do have that on both sides there. You have a drop-down tray right here. You also have three full extension ball bearing drawers, so plenty of room for your silverware, all your larger utensils like your spatulas, knives, and whatever else you want to throw in the third drawer. I love this. They kept this open so you have a spot to put a trash can. Super important to me when I go camping. I hate having my bag just hang out, you know, having to loop it over a pull. So I like the fact there's some storage there. And then you'll also see right over here that you have uh, some extra storage right there. Nice shelf, so a good place to put you know, maybe some cleaning supplies. If you want to throw some pots and pans in there, you can do that too. And then right up front here, you will notice you have two electrical outlets. So if you need to plug anything in, whether it's a blender, toaster, you know, electric griddle, you can do that right there on the island. Now, no kitchen is complete these days in an RV without a large pantry. And that's exactly what you have here. You'll see it is adjustable shelving. So if you want to move these, you certainly can. They're nice thick shelves too. You know, a lot of manufacturers, they'll put this header on here, but it's a super thin shelf and you can't put any weight on it really. Not the case here. Uh, that is a very nice adjustable pantry space. Right next to that's the Norcold fridge freezer combo. Stainless steel panels on there. We open that guy up, eight cubic foot, plenty of space. You see you have a cutout here. If you need some taller items like a, you know, like a half gallon of milk, something like that. This unit does run off both propane and electric, also has automatic switch over, and the thermostat is right here on the side. Another thing I do like about the Norcold fridge freezers, you'll see it has a lip right here on the freezer. So that way when you have items in here, you know, and you're taking it down the road, when you open that freezer door, it's not gonna fall out on you. That lip will keep things nice and secure. Right over here is your uh, microwave, directly underneath the hood with a light and a fan. And then right down here, you have the cooktop with the glass cover. This is pretty nice. You can just fold this guy back. That acts as a backsplash for you. The glass is nice and easy to clean off. Three burner cooktop there, the front one being high output. Then you have an oven underneath in case you want to do some baking. And of course, they did not waste any space. Right below the oven, you have this nice deep drawer here, which is perfect for pots and pans. Making our way over to the other side, you kind of have this nice decorative hutch area. I think this is pretty cool. You know, they put this sign here. It just adds to a little bit of that charm, that residential feel, you know, like your home when you're camping. You have electrical outlets on either side. Again, in case you want to plug things in over here, maybe you want a coffee bar. You can certainly set one up there. Going across the top, more storage. And again, I like what they did. You'll see they have wood panels on the outside, then the frosted glass on the inside helps break up the look a little bit. Nice and open right here in the center, which is cool. You do have a blue light in here too. If you want to turn that on, you certainly can. And then some extra storage along the side there. Maintaining that beautiful solid surface countertops. A lot of manufacturers would have went wood here to save some money. Uh, but I like the fact that they kept it, uh, the solid surface, so it's nice and seamless. Underneath, you have great storage. Again, excellent spot for pots and pans right here or some of your other utensils, things you don't constantly use, like your blender, toaster. You can stuff them in there. A little bit of extra storage right over here as well. The bathroom in the 343 is nice and spacious. Starting right down here, you see the foot flush lever toilet. It is a porcelain bowl, so it's nice and easy to clean. And as you can see, you have plenty of room, both for your legs as well as here in the shoulders. I'm pretty wide in the shoulders and I have plenty of space. Right across the way, you have the big, beautiful countertop and sink here. Plenty of room on both sides of the sink for your toothbrush holder. You know, if you need to put a curling iron down, you have an electrical outlet right there. You'll also notice your tank monitoring panel is over here. Uh, your water pump control is there in case you're looking for it, as well as your water heater controls. Do note that you can uh, run your water heater off propane or electric or both at the same time for quicker recovery. Right up top, here's your mirrored medicine cabinet. Good storage right in there. And if we take a look down below, you see you have some additional storage down here. So it's a nice spot to put uh, maybe some of your extra rolls of toilet paper, cleaning chemicals, stuff like that. Then over across the way is the shower. One of the things I really like about the uh, Sport Trek here is you have really tall ceilings. You can see here, I'm six foot. I have plenty of room before I get to the ceiling. Plus you have a skylight here, which adds a lot of height. So if you're, you know, 6'3", 6'4", you can still easily shower in here, which is great. 
hand wand right over here to the side. You have this built-in uh, kind of a shower curtain screen type thing here, which, you know, honestly, it works really well. It retracts right up and out of the way. And then you have the shelving right over here to the side. If you also take a look at the ceiling, you'll see the vent fan right here to quickly help moisture escape. Couple LED lights in there. And then over to the side, you have some extra storage right over here. Uh, you know, again, I personally would probably roll up some towels and put them in there so it's nice and easy to get to, but you can do whatever you would like once it's yours. And then we walk into the beautiful and spacious bedroom. Starting off right here with the slide out bed, this is a king size slide out. It's 70 by 80, so two inches uh, narrower than your residential king, but a king nonetheless. It is very large, you'd use king sheets on it. It's definitely enough room, you're not gonna elbow each other in the middle of the night. You also notice you have shelves on both sides of the slide there, electrical outlets, one side has dual USB ports too, a window, a LED light, and then some additional storage up top. Now that you have the storage up there, you also have large storage underneath the bed. You can see all the storage right here. Uh, further back is even more. You do have access to that from outside, which I'll show you in a little bit. The mattress itself is also quite comfortable. You can see it has a nice little pillow top on there. Uh, so that way, you know, when you are sleeping here, you'll have a good night's sleep. You're not gonna have to immediately go out and purchase a new mattress. If we take a quick, uh, quick look right over here, you'll see the extra wardrobe. There's a good wardrobe space in here. And I like that they put that extra one right there, just fully utilizing all the space in here. If we take a look at the very front here, you see you have this big, beautiful couch. This is awesome. This gives you an extra spot where you can kind of lounge, sit down. You know, uh, if you're like me, sometimes it's easier to sit down and put your shoes on. If you want to sit down and put your pants on, you can do that as well. And it does come with this big body pillow right here too, which is pretty neat. Uh, I know my wife personally loves to sleep with a body pillow. She loves to be able to snuggle up with it. So if you want to throw that in the bed, you can certainly use it for that too. And then you have this big, awesome window right here too. We'll see that when we go outside. Uh, that's something you know, you're know you starting to see on a couple more travel trailer models, but still not a ton of them that are out there. And I do like all the additional light that it brings in. Right up top, you see you have this cool little area. You can certainly use this for clothes storage if you want. Personally, I'd probably put some decorations up there. You see it has a blue accent lighting as well. Storage on both sides right over here. And then you do have additional wardrobe on both sides. That's what I had mentioned. You have the big one right over there. You have two more on either side. So lots of wardrobe storage here in the 343. The foot of the bed, if you take a look up at the ceiling, you'll see they do have a backer in the wall. That is where you'll mount your TV. Connections, of course, right above that. Another window here. And then at the very foot of the bed, you have an additional fireplace. I had mentioned this earlier, how you have two of them. And this does a great job, again, of taking the chill off in this room, especially because it's a bedroom. It's a smaller, confined space. Even though it is a big bedroom, this will do a great job of keeping it nice and toasty in here. You also see you have storage right up top there, some cubby holes on both sides, more storage going down. Then you have a couple pull-out drawers here. And then I like they did this too. You have a little open cutout. That way you have a little spot for your slippers, right? Kick your slippers off right underneath there. Now that you know all of your RVs, the majority of them have gone away from carpeting, it's a heck of a lot easier to clean, but sometimes it can be a little tough on the feet. So I like to camp with slippers and that's a perfect spot for them right there. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the 2018.5 Sport Trek 343 VIK. Right up front, you have the power tongue jack. This makes it super easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Just flip the switch up or down and the tongue will move accordingly. You also have a light right up here in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Right behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. Simply undo the thumb screws, lift up the door and that will give you access down and into the tanks. When we drop down right under here, you see that your rail's there for your battery. It is wide enough if you want two batteries, you can squeeze two of them in there. And then take a look at the front. You have a beautiful front end here, the Sport Trek Touring Edition. Uh, a couple different things. One is you have the front fiberglass cap. This gives it a nice, complete look, adds a little extra insulation in there as well. Then you have this beautiful front window too. We kind of saw this when we were inside. This is right above that sofa. This will give you a view out the front if you want. More importantly though, it just looks great. Lets a lot of natural light into the RV. There's an LED light strip up there too in case you want some extra light at night. And then from here down, it's kind of tough to see, but they basically have this rock guard that's built into this fiberglass front cap. So that way, any rocks or debris that are thrown up, hopefully just hit this rock guard and don't beat up your front cap there. 
So we come around to the side, a couple nice features over here. One of them is it is already prepped for solar. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. The pass-through here does have a covered hinge as well as a magnet, so it just sits right up there and you can leave it. And nice big pass-through, it's nice and clean as well. You'll see, you know, you don't have a bunch of cords and stuff hanging down in here. Over to this side, you have a light as well as your battery disconnect. Uh, battery disconnects are great. They make it a lot easier when you're done camping. Instead of having to constantly get into your battery box and disconnect the terminals, just pop that guy, just give it a twist, and it will kill uh, all power to the RV. You'll also see its slam latch baggage doors, which are also a nice feature. Take a look at the awning here. Not only do you have one power awning, you have two. The second one here is armless. That way it's not interfering with your outside kitchen. This is awesome, folks. This makes the entire side of this camper all very usable camping space. It's all covered by awning. You don't have any vents here either. So again, all usable space. Set your chairs up. I love when manufacturers are able to do that. You see you have frameless windows on here too. Uh, Night of frameless windows look great but also they uh, can open up during the rain the way they open. You're not gonna get rainwater in there, but you can still have a breeze coming through and they help protect the seals a little bit better because the seals are behind the glass. They're not getting beat up nearly as badly by the elements. Right up above that, you see two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside I had showed you. Uh, a couple of things on the awning I didn't mention. This one here does have adjustable pitch in case you need to have water runoff. Also LED light strip, as you'd expect. They both have LED lights, so uh, that way, you know, if you want to hang out at night, you can certainly do that too. Right down below, you have power stabilizer jacks. The cool thing about this, though, is you have two individual controls, or rather, an individual control per jack. So these two right here control the front two. You'll have two more in the back. You usually don't get that. You usually have one control for the two front, and it kind of has to wait until one goes down and the other one goes down. It just doesn't do a great job. I love having the individual controls there. Making our way back a little bit further, let's talk about the entryway. So we've seen a lot of different manufacturers have gone to a similar style of step here, and I love it. Uh, you know, my opinion, it's one of the best changes they've made to the RV industry in a long time. Rather than having the stales, stairs that are flimsy and bounce and, you know, just don't feel very safe, this style of stairs here, you have the aluminum steps, they're super easy to set up, and I'm telling you, I can jump on this thing, it is extremely sturdy. You have the foldable grab handle here as well, so that way you have excellent control when entering or exiting the RV. I'll open the door up a second. It does have friction hinge, by the way, so wherever you put it, that's where it stays, which is really nice. Can handle winds of up to 20 miles an hour. To put the steps away, literally all you do is you open the door up. This guy just swings right up into place. You'll see you have this little uh, lever here it'll snap into place just like that. To undo it, you move this lever to one side or the other, and then that will allow your steps to drop right back down. So nice and simple and easy set up and tear down there. Let's make our way back a little bit further here. If we dive underneath, take a look at the wheels. You have beautiful aluminum alloy wheels there. Now I know those look really nice when you're going down the road or when you're at the campsite, but they'll stay looking nice. They're not gonna rust out on you, which is phenomenal. Nitrogen filled tires there too to help uh, you know, hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. You also have an enclosed and heated underbelly in there. So if you are looking at camping in some of the colder seasons, you are able to do it here in the sport track. Talk to briefly about the outside kitchen. Let's take a look at that. Uh, you know, it really has everything you need. Nice large refrigerator out here. This is great. You can see you have plenty of room in here for your beer, you know, or pop, all your other condiments, ketchup, mustard, whatever it may be. I like having a bigger refrigerator when they're able to do it. Up top, you see you have some additional storage right up there, which is really nice. So, you know, enough room for cups, plates, things like that. Right down below here is your countertop with your sink. Beautiful countertop they put in here as well. I like what they did. Again, it kind of helps contrast, you know, the kind of the dark and the light here. But you see the sink, you have the adjustable faucet right there. LED light, so you have light at night. TV hookups, if you want an outside TV, you can have a nice little TV installed there. No kitchen would be complete without some way to cook, and that's exactly what you got here. Two burner cooktop. You do have a propane quick connect underneath. You can see, uh, obviously that can't come out with the slide out, so it's right underneath there. But it's still nice and easy to run a cord, go ahead and plug that guy in, 
That way you can run that off your uh, 20 pounds of propane. Nice little drop down drawer there. And then right here is a good spot for your silverware. Personally, my outside kitchen is full of plastiware because, well, I don't want to wash a bunch of dishes, but uh, you do have the drawer space right there, which is really nice. Coming around uh, to the back here, electrical outlet, need to plug anything else in, that's a place you can do it. And then here are the two controls for your rear stabilizer. Around the very back side, right here we'll start with the ladder. You do have a ladder so you can climb up onto the roof. It is a fully walkable roof. That's important for maintenance side of things. You always want to get up on any RV at least once. I recommend twice a year. If you don't want to do it, not a problem. Bring it by here by Camping World. We'll gladly get up there and take a look at it for you. Rear picture window right here. Note that it does open so that way you can have uh, you know, a usable window, get a nice breeze going through there. Up above that is your backup camera prep. This is a big travel trailer, folks. Uh, it's not probably not a bad idea to get a backup camera on here, give you that extra visibility. That way as you're backing up, you make sure you don't hit anything or more important, anyone. And then plus having that prep makes it a lot less expensive to have it installed. Everything's already pre-wired. It's essentially a plug and play. This is really cool too. This is a cargo rack. The reason I really like manufacturers have this on here is because it comes from the manufacturer, meaning it's not going to void your warranty. A lot of people don't realize this, but if you attach something on the bumper, for most manufacturers, they'll void your entire warranty if something happens. So it's nice when it comes straight from the manufacturer. The frame and everything is upgraded. Uh, it's heavier duty, so it's able to withstand all the torque and everything back here. It's not going to damage your bumper. Your RV will be in great shape. It's perfect for carrying bikes, totes, grills, you know, things you don't want in your inside storage or inside the RV you can put right there. Another thing I do want to note, if you want to fill your tanks, folks, it is right back here. So what you will want to make sure you do is just drop this down. It's super easy to do. You have a pin in either one of these. Pull out the cotter pin, pull out the larger pin. This will drop down. That way you can fill your tanks up. Right outside here, cable and satellite inlets right there. And then let's make our way forward a little bit here on the off-door side. A couple quick things I do want to go over. Right here probably no surprise 50 amp detachable power cord you have to have a 50 amp here folks you have you know AC you have a couple fireplaces in there 50 amps definitely gonna be necessary uh, granted if you have a 30 amp at the campground you can always step it down you're just gonna kind of have to choose between running an AC or running a fireplace and you know they're, they're kind of opposite each other so you probably won't run them both at the same time anyway uh, right here's your black tank flush so this makes it uh, nice and easy to wash out your black tank instead of sticking a hose down a toilet you just stick your hose right here. Black tank has sprayers built in. It washes it out for you. City water right there. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Over here are your vents as you would expect. You have your water heater right here, furnace right there. Termination directly below it with both your gray and black valves. And lastly, right over here, we'll open this guy up. Again, slam latches. You have a magnet. This is the storage underneath that bed I had showed you, underneath the big king bed. As I mentioned, you can get to it from the outside, and this is that access that I was mentioning. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018.5 Sport Trek Touring Edition 343 VIK. For price and availability, click on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.